Hey guys, Adam and Anthony here. In case you're wondering who's who, Adam is the one you recognize and I am the one with hair. And this is a thing that we are doing every week where, every week, uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> where we're After, going to yeah. uh, play some video, show each other some video games that yes. we don't necessarily know about. And, and, and you're showing me one. I'm showing you one today. I'm showing you Gunpoint, which is, uh, which is a 2D stealth game by Tom Francis, who's a writer for PC Gamer. Oh, and, yes, uh, yes yeah. of course, of course. Of course. And, uh, this is a really, really clever game. This is a stealth game where you have a gun that does not really fire bullets. You can use it to connect any circuit to any device in the building. Okay. So, I'm not gonna say too much about it. We should just get started because okay. it kind of ramps up huh. very quickly. This is just uh, this keyboard mouse. Uh-huh. All right, so am I wiping all my saves? All of them. It's okay, so wipe. confirm this will wipe all it's your saves. Every save for every game you've ever played. I actually have a good friend of mine, yeah. Shane Satterfield, who once um, clicked something like this, but it was in Japanese and he didn't Don't realize do it. that. It was terrible. <laughs> all right. Uh, do the 128720. I think that's what we're streaming. All right. Is that what we're streaming? And try it. Try it. So here we go. Yeah, Except. that looks lovely. Okay. That is an acceptable resolution. All right. So. so. So that's you. Okay. <laughs> Space, I answer my phone. <laughs> yes. No. I always love it when writers cross over to, into game design. <laughs> Because everything is just so clever right off the bat. That's well, such a also, strong they, opening. They, 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 that, 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 that whole sense, and I, I believe someone, it may have been on Kotaku recently, kind of pointed out that, like, you know, sometimes when you have to go back to a Nintendo game, it's like, yes, I know how to play this. You don't yeah. need to go so <laughs> slow in this process. This is the antithesis of this. Yeah, this is totally somebody who probably has a couple screenplays in his drawer, knows how to open something cold. My boss, Rooks, is your kind of freelance spy. I might have a job for you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right. So yeah. So it has a very elevator action-y vibe, so if you go up through that Which, staircase on the left. Stair the staircase on the left. Where yeah, the door, the door there with the green. Oh, that's the staircase. Yeah, that's a stairwell. Got it, got it. Just so everyone knows, I'm actually playing a fair distance from this television. <laughs> these are small images. Oh, and I'm old. Oh, sorry. So, Selena just got shot. That's a bummer. That said W for, oh, for the switch there. Yeah. Sorry, I had a GTA <laughs> 5 moment. <laughs> <laughs> so if you run over and head up the elevator there, we'll All try right, to get up to her office on the right. Mm-hmm. Because she just got switch. shot. The okay, let's go yeah. just there. Uh, Go. So, yeah. Now, I always love elevator action. I'm assuming that this is, ooh, hold on. Should I, should I watch Yeah, it? there's, huh. I can tell you there's nothing we can do about that right now. Okay, it's just, it's not, it's not one of those death ones. Yeah. All right, let's get in there. Let's go up. Yeah, because I always wanted to know what the backstory was in elevator action. <laughs> like, why does this one building have so many elevators? Why, why, why do, spar, why do right, spies really? obey the laws of French farce? <laughs> why is it a yeah. Scooby-Doo episode when spies so and assassins not, get so together? So why do when I touch this, this, this right here, I jump? So what happens is left, the, the left mouse button is your jump. Oh, okay, so, so the fact but, that I'm clicking something has nothing to do yeah, with Yeah, so what's happening is, as you, but as you mouse over, the cursor will contextually give you clues about objects. Okay, I'm with you. So, there it is. Uh, we just saw Selena get shot, so we want to run after her. We want to go see if we can get to that body. Oh, okay. Well, sure she is. Ah. <laughs> yep. She so there's will be that. dead. I'm assuming. Yeah. I don't think it even yeah. needs to give you a text hint that no. she's not <laughs> with us anymore. So we'll just get on the train like any other good spy. <laughs> That's what I do after finding a body. So 114 seconds earlier, which is exactly how much time it took to play through that, which I think is really cool. Okay. Was that was that just judged by the game? It wasn't, it wasn't so much judged. No, you weren't rated on that. Right. But the, the internet will take care the of that The internet right is going to judge you, that. yeah. I, I thought. All right, congratulations on purchasing your new Bullfrog brand hyper trousers. Bullfrog, Crusher. I think, is a nice, a nice a little maximum reference. maximum st strength jump might shatter glass ceilings, windows, and children. <laughs> Outdoor use only. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
So, that is how you begin a game. That's a great That is open. how you begin a game. <laughs> I love this. And you know, there's always this, uh, this thing when people jump over from the game's criticism into making a game where you want to know like what kind of game they're going to make and what the tone's going to be like. And you think about, uh, think about Anthony Birch on Borderlands 2. You think about, yep. uh, you think about Bissell on Gears of War. And there's always like this little tongue in cheek kind of yeah, tone because, underneath you, everything. You know, it's not fair to think that all game writers have played all games mm -hmm. because they're writing a game. But if, you're, if you come from the press, you've consumed so much of this medium yeah. that it's hard not to be invoking everything you played. It's almost like having an entire life in QA testing. Okay, I didn't kill her. <laughs> so this is cool. You have this uh, before and after every mission. Mm -hmm. You have these branching conversations that you can have with the people who want to hire you. And uh, in the beginning, they don't mean much. It's more just whatever you feel like whatever you feel like is the tone of Richard Conway, but later on it will begin to change the way things happen. I'm gonna have to go with number two here. I agree that I, I am boned. boned. <laughs> I have to hand that footage over if I have it. Let's make sure I don't have it. I've wiped my copy, but my camera feeds get backed up to data centers in five different offsite locations. If you can wipe them all, you're in the clear and the police will have to find the real killer. Yeah, so okay. the deal is we walked in front of that camera. Yeah, now we've that, got to erase the fact it. that we're in that camera. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Head to the data sec facility at Port Heath. I'll make sure the front door is open, but you'll have to take it from there. All right, so I guess that's it. The call is over. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Rook. I thought it was Rookie. Like, no, you're the rookie. That's it. Oh, I'm a rookie. You're the rookie. <laughs> <laughs> In all of life. All right. Footage here, you remember, here's one of the best five locations. All right. That is the strongest cell phone sound. Right? On the top floor of this building, there's a bank of servers with a computer nearby. If you can get to that, you can wipe the evidence that you were at our offices when Selena was killed. How do I get in? I, I think that all spies apparently use like GroupMe or something. They're just using oh, some free. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a spy-oriented GroupMe. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's for spies only. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you don't know we've grouped us. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, I have one of our tech guys open the front door for you. Their electrical systems are hackable from here, but for obvious reasons, the servers are not. All right, how do I wipe the data? Rook's typing. I've seen your record. This will be well within your abilities. Once you're in the scrubber script, I'm sending you. It will auto wipe anything with today's date ending in MP4. All right, I got it. Let's start this thing. All right. So when you're holding down uh, the left mouse button, right. you can aim your jump. Uh, your jump charges the longer you hold up. Oh, I see. So it. Ooh, it's actually kind of. Is that because he has the magic trousers? Yeah, so he's, got the, in the first he's place. got the bullfrog trousers. He's also got some magnetic gloves and stuff. So everything is. I like once how you he uh, runs. So, so once you bullfrog up onto something, it's climbable. Is that the way the kids are calling it, bullfrogging? Yeah, once you bullfrog up. Bullfrog is, I think, oh, what they did in the. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I, um, I, this is all starting to make some sense. Then, let's see, do I want to go down? Is this the building? This is the building. This is the building. I didn't really need to jump all the way over there. Is that a door? So you're in. So as you mouse over things, certain things are important, certain things aren't, but you can find secondary objectives that way. <laughs> Excuse me. It is a dusty day here at the Red 3 offices. And yes, because we're live streaming, I can't hide it. Uh, music done by three different people. And I think it's a really excellent soundtrack. I like soundtrack. that nice jazz. It's I, I'm, I'm not being glib when I say that. Oh, that, oh, that was a, I thought it was a switch for the elevator. That that would be. All right, let's get in there. Go up. Oh, you can go down as well? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we're looking for where they would hide the stuff. It's an open door. So. Oh, that's the door. Sorry. Yeah, anything. Yeah, that's going to be an open door. That's an optional objective. So if you hit W, you can hack that. Um, it's basically instantly hacked. The, the tension it. later on is going to come from can you get to it and do you have the time? I like that. You know, because, you know as what? opposed to. We have enough hacking minigames. You know? Yeah. We've reached, it's like, it's okay. Can you name a good hacking minigame? And, and you know what the thing is? I mean, I've never hacked. You can give your own answer on that mm -hmm. one. But I'm under the impression that I have not gotten the sense of 
the hacking experience nope. through a hacking mini game. I think I think everybody agrees that the most accurate representation of hacking uh, in any form of media was the uh, the Unix terminal in Jurassic Park. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, but that's the closest. Great, so you got it. Okay. Um, and the bullfrog trousers, you can actually go oh. through glass. Oh, yeah. Defenestrate. Booyah. Love it. All right. So, so there you it. go. Uh, and that's as hard as the game gets, really. No, it's not. That's so, <laughs> let's see, what are they judging me on? So, Violence and Witness weren't even really an option for me, were not, they? Not at this point, no. Noise, I did get through a play glass window. Yes, that'll happen. Yeah, but there must be a silent way to do that. I mean, you could have gone back out through the front door, but then you don't get the satisfaction of jumping through a plate glass window, which I really like. <laughs> <laughs> Walking through already open doors is my specialty. If these are backed up at four more facilities, the other slightly better guarded, but nothing too taxing. I'll give you the address in order of security, since frankly, I have no idea how good you are. Um, Tony Skit says, I'm tired of all these indie side scrollers. I love what they do with art style, gameplay, and their tie ins with story, but why can't it just be applied to a 3D world like Journey? It costs more money, mm -hmm. takes more time. Yep. Um, I don't know if side scroller is really a fair thing to call this. No. Yes, you do go from left to right, but. It's more of a single screen. I would just call it a 2D plane. Yeah. And you'll see actually, you'll see actually, Tony, in, in a second why the tools that you're being given in Gunpoint make a lot more sense on a 2D plane. Yeah. Um, so if you go to the shop right now. Oh, I can buy things? Yeah. You can get, uh, no, I guess you can't, I can't yeah, get it's anything. after the next one. Go to upgrades. All right. And you have two upgrade points. Ooh. So you can apply it to your bullfrog's jump strength or the charge up time. I'm gonna do one on strength, one on time. I just don't know what's coming. How judicious of you. Yeah, I just <laughs> keep so. it. I'm gonna stay a little on the old even keel. Be conservative, yeah. On the even keel. Who knows? All right. So if you go back to missions now, you can yeah, accept the mission. Let's go, let's take this mission on. Okay. So you can skip this stuff and it will give you case notes, which you see is that blue button there. Right. So if you ever feel like, okay, I enjoy this glib, quirky dialogue, well, but maybe I just want to jump right in. Maybe our audience is ready to strangle us yeah. right now. That's quite possible. Okay, the guards are going to shoot on sight. The cursor turns red in areas guards can see. Mm -hmm. Jump on a guard to pin him to the ground. Oh, this is so satisfying. Wow. I can't wait until you see, pin your I first mean, guard. I, I, I love the idea Every that boy remembers when he pinned his first guard. <laughs> So I just love how the entire game mechanic is based on something that's so narratively arbitrary, yeah. which is the acquisition of the trousers. Yeah, you just bought some bullfrog trousers. That's how this game starts. All right. So, so I'm yeah. going to jump on the guard. Just jump on the guard. Oh, hell yeah. Click to punch him. Click, click. And just <laughs> keep. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it's, like, it's like hammering. And I love how it's giving Attack. you little notes like, what you're doing is fine, too. It's OK. Fine. But if you just keep doing it. So if I hit ARD, it, I get off? Well, some people are into punching guards, you know? <laughs> and I like how she's like, you can stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go so, down, because there is no up. Oh, 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 hold on. So, so there's, that's a door there. Is it closed? Now, that's a door behind a handprint scanner, and only a guard's handprint will open the scanner. All right. But so let's turn that off. Guards can't see in the dark. Watch out. See, he could see you. Oh. So you jumped into his gun with your bullfrog trousers. So, so, so it's... <laughs> well, yeah. So, so hit, okay. So hit two. And okay. remember, you can stick to any surface as long as you bullfrog jump. Ooh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, hold on, let's hack something. Yeah, hack everything. Why not? Did ha, it. Hacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shows you, Johnny Lee Miller. Right? <laughs> Huh. If I never have to connect nodes together again, I will be just fine. So, Aha, dude's see? back is to you. Ah, uh, let's do some punching. And now let's do some getting off. There we go. Uh, let's see what's in that room. And <laughs> People are concerned about your amount of mouse room, which I think is valid. How are uh, you feeling? I'm very, very How little. How are you feeling? Guys, you guys, yeah. <laughs> let's just say if you see me in a sling next week, don't be surprised. This All is right. a carpal tunnel waiting to happen. You know what? That might be the first time I've ever heard concern from people on the internet that wasn't 
It's completely mixed with mockery and contempt. <laughs> yeah. It's I know. strange. Yeah, it's strange. It's strange okay. to see people so pure I got what I needed from this terminal. Let's head back up. And, you know, you know what? I'm gonna jump. To jump right line. in there. Morning commute! I wish I could jump right in there. Look at that. Oh, I like how when I use the full bar for time, it's called thoughtful. You're very thoughtful. That is, <laughs> yes. You know that's what? a nice way to put, you took a while. <laughs> that, that's also from someone who's played a few too many games, where it's yeah. like, you know, everyone already hates me in real life. Why does the game feel the need to constantly criticize me? I like a game that's like subtly, you know, oh, that's on. doing the in, compliment in sandwich. games when you die too much, it's like, hey, are you having trouble? Do you want us to drop it down to stupid level for you? Well, I think and the worst is um, in Nintendo games where it's like, do you want a better Mario to show up? <laughs> do you yeah. want like a cooler Donkey Kong than you? All right, so, so this here's is the cross -link. where things get real. Oh, okay. This is where the game starts to become. Up until this oh, it's just been a right. facsimile of a game right now. Okay. Uh, somebody also mentions Impossible Mission, not just in elevator action. Good mention. Very good. So, buy your crosslink. Yeah, I got my crosslink. Get your upgrades. All right. Crosslink, is it an exercise device? Come on. Crosslink, yeah, you uh, you have to have the good gym membership to take the crosslink yeah, classes. I that's what I thought. All right, let's get in there. Let's accept our mission. All right, incredibly clever writing that, well, it's best. I'm going to quote myself and all other game journalists. It's something you best discover on your own. So, <laughs> it really is extremely, extremely good. It's very funny. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. But yeah. You so, know, the, the internet is not meant for reading other people's games. You can hit the mouse wheel or the alt key, and you'll go into crosslink mode, which Ooh. is like your matrix view. Okay. So, anything you see in crosslink mode that's visible, you can hook one to the other. Okay. So, like that, that thing, which is just a light switch, yeah. can connect to there. Right now, the light switch is connected to the light. That makes sense. I dig on that. Okay, this is an interesting. Oh, there's yeah. the, <laughs> the stairs. <laughs> All right, so, so let's get to crosslink. Click and drag a line, so that's the line? Yep, so right now that'll turn the light on and off, but that switch can be connected to anything that is white on this oh, screen right now. Oh, so I could go there? You can't go, yeah, so. Now, flip the switch. Okay, all right, I got it. And the security door opens. Okay, I, I see how that becomes a very interesting puzzle mechanic. Now, if you think about it, like, everything in this world of gunpoint is electronic in some way and is interconnected in some way. Yeah, yeah, with, with, the, with the tubes. With the tubes, all the it's all through pneumatic tubes. Like, they send mail through in old movies. It's a series of tubes. That doesn't get old. I just love doing that. I wish we could all travel around the world that way. I wish bullfrog I'm travels thoughtful were again. real. When, Always thoughtful. So help me out. When you're not thoughtful, what does it say? Like, not you know, Adam? It doesn't give anything except the compliment. So you just don't get all the way to thoughtful. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. I like I that. I guess it's better than learning. Or uh, So you've got an upgrade. I got an upgrade. Look at that. I am. You know what? I feel like I'm giving up on this charge up time. I, I, I need to pay attention to that. Don't want to be caught with my pants down. <laughs> it's a joke that references the game. Did you know that? Yeah, uh, it is. How is, people right. want to know how how everyone's holding up since GTA launch. It seemed like a lot of videos came out. GT what? GTA. The. Uh, yeah, the grand. Um, it's that Saints Row ripoff. Yeah. Uh, good. Tucson airplanes. <laughs> um, I'm I'm not I'm not recovered yet from how much I played that game. You played a lot of that game. I, I really enjoyed that game, but yeah, yeah. All right. I'm still uh, feeling. So here we go. So okay, let's see if maybe there's something fun I could do with this or with this. It really didn't do anything. Oh, that's yeah. the handprint sensor. That's the handprint sensor, so that's the right, guard screw, can open just, close I, I think it's just time to jump on a oh. Kunk. Yeah. Punch punch. And now I'm getting off. There we go. <laughs> I love the little note on the bottom that's like, uh, it only takes one punch to knock them out. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> FYI. You know, just, there might be that one time. That one time. 
All so you right. just joined us, we're playing Gunpoint. Oof, that guy sucked. That out. was really immediate. Like, yeah. It didn't even give me like a reaction moment. It was just, that guard. Yeah. 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 That's like NYPD level. Like, screw it, we're just yeah. gonna shoot. <laughs> we're gonna sign square the guy who's uh, playing Frogger. Let's just shoot. Yeah, that's it. I yeah. don't like that he looks like a human. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, seven yeah. seconds ago? Grab, yeah, grab the seven seconds back. All right, let's so. try this again. So, I should probably be using that incredible new skill. Yes. That has been, okay, that's that switch. So I want to, I think, connect it there. Okay, let's give it a shot. And it closes the door. Good, the guard Good. is not flummoxed by that. Nope, he's totally Apparently, cool with that. human beings in a building are a cause for concern, not doors, just The door was already there, Adam. The door didn't sneak in right in front of him. <laughs> that door was there when he started his shift. As long as nothing changes from the start of your shift. And then, huh. Actually, I have to think this for a second, because if I open the door even for a second, mm -hmm. he's clearly gonna shoot me. Right. So, now, what if I did that? No, that doesn't get to work. Can I get this to hack that? That's not gonna work, that's gonna open the door. Uh, what's, it, what's that down there? That power socket will activate nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was on to something. So I really kind of want him to touch the hand scanner. Yeah. Okay, aha. You know what, I just, hold on, that didn't. I want the hand scanner to go there, but it won't. It won't go there. That's anything, so anything that's white but outlined in red, right? So. All right. So. So I guards will respond to all change in the building. And they will immediately try to rectify that change. All right, but I'm thinking, just just because he shot me so quickly. Uh huh. Even if I did something clever, like I tie something to this switch here, he's gonna get me. Is he? Will he? Hmm. Ah, but hmm. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Okay. Oh, he's freaked out. He's, he's freaked all out. like flummoxed. He's like danger, Will Robinson. So, danger, guardian. We may guard. have. Overwired something. Uh oh. <laughs> that sounds like me by yeah. 10 o'clock in the morning with five cups of coffee in me. <laughs> okay, so I need to, ch he needs to chill out, right? Yeah. Chill so him out, dude. Hand scanner. No, oh, whoops. So. Maybe if I tie this one to that scanner? The outside scanner? Is that, am I, am I, I'm not barking up the wrong tree. So, here, no, right? so what's gonna happen is anytime he touches that hand scanner, then right. it's gonna activate the switch. Right? So, the when lights. he, so you're gonna turn the lights off. He's gonna hit the hand scanner to, check, to try to turn the lights on, and the lights are gonna turn right on for him. So, he's like, wow, that was an efficiency. That was easy. That yeah. was an efficiency, yeah. <laughs> so, if you hook your, if you hook that light switch in the hallway uh -huh. directly to the light oh. in his room, Okay, yeah, because that's and got the right outline. take the hand scanner on his side and uh. don't connect it to the light, connect it back to the door that it was originally connected to. Oh. Yeah. I didn't realize you could do more than one. Oh, you that, can move everything around. That yeah. has... Okay, <laughs> oh. you knocked him out on his own door. Brilliant. And look, it was a funny achievement. You did get a funny achievement. I did get a funny achievement. That's the best kind of achievement. Yeah, yeah. She, she gets some, some achievements I like. Some achievements. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to get that door open. All right, let's do the usual. Okay, it's tight there. Hold on, that didn't turn on the... We may need to rewire something. Not jump, I need to rewire. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, something is double wired. Oh boy. I think I think those it's, it's sensors are wired wire to each other. Yeah. It's the double wire policy. So okay, let's let's undo one of these. Yeah. Is there kind of a, a general undo on what you set up? Uh, I don't think I'm, so. I'm, I'm creating mayhem here. You're doing right? a lot. 
<laughs> Alright, I want this. I think you're blocking your own view with the door there, so yeah. There's one hell of a device he has. Okay, so I wanted to go to the hand scanner. Yeah. There. Okay. So I think one hand scanner is tied to the other though. The one on the left on the guard side. Right, so then try to hooking undo that, that to something else. Hook it to the I'll hook, hook it to the it, light. Hook it to the light. There yeah, you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now okay. Now there's no, we got we got issues. Okay. Oh, because that's not linked to the door anymore. Okay, that's gonna be linked to the light. Okay. There we go. Now this link that is linked to, to the, the door. door. Right? Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> Hey, I got the lights, what did we, what did lights do? back on. What are you doing? I got the lights back on. Uh let's see, maybe we can no. Yeah, the scanners are linked to each other. I so, think that's oh, what's yeah, happening. We got this pointless one here. So, so if, you, if you can remove one link, you've got a redundant link on those scanners. Right, okay, so there. There we go. There you go, so now. Oh, the crops are saved there, Whew. Anthony. Good God, <laughs> good God. Tied to the door. Tied to the door. Oh, that's right. Not to the other side. Ah, okay, this is okay. I'm moving the keyboard up here. Yeah. So I now I'm going to move with a level of finesse that I have not been able to do yet. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> Why won't it connect to the it's door? Just, it really doesn't okay, so maybe if we do this. So now nothing is, yeah, okay. All right, so maybe if we connect it all the way here. Okay. And we connect that to the door. All right. Or just try it, just try it on that side, yeah. This is really frightening that I'm like this flummoxed this early on in a game. Reinforcing the stereotype that most people already have with me. So, <laughs> Kaboni, you strike again. <laughs> okay. You gotta give him one of the thinky ones before 4 p.m. And that goes, all right. I'm okay. I, I, I think we might be onto something here, right? God, that really is just ah. <laughs> Probably Tom Francis is watching the stream right now, getting in his car and coming over here to. Uh, I have seen. Do it. Try the top of the door. All right, there we go. So scanner to the top. There you go. There we go. That's the sensitive part. There you go. There, there. you are. Oh God! Our long <laughs> national nightmare is over. Apologies, people. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's go home. We got let's the data, go. everybody. We got the data. Let's let's pull up our bullfrog pants. All right. Oh, we'll go back out so, this way. There we go. I now, bet you're gonna get that uh, thoughtful achievement again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's called deep thinker or yeah, heavy ponderer. Super philosopher. Yeah, I think it should be called ponderous. <laughs> That's what I am. Oh yeah, I'm thoughtful. I am thoughtful. All right, so. Uh, I think we still can't afford anything. No, I think the next thing we're gonna get is the wire jack, but um, so if you do one more point, yeah. So this is where now that, now that sort of everything has been learned, it's gonna ask you to make some more, um, Make some more complex connections. Good, good. Because I'm, 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 I'm ready for that. As yeah, I feel like that's going to be good. Once you know what, man. Once you open one door, you can open all the doors. Yeah, it's like it's like riding a bicycle. Yes, you, it's like riding doors. multiple bicycles at once. If you can open one bicycle. So that door was open. There's a guard over there, but that's a wall. Yeah. So he can't see me. Now. So. If I go up these stairs, though, uh, yeah, but his back's to me. Ha, ha, yeah. All right, better move quickly and jump. Oh! Whoa, wasn't expecting that. I love it. So. So these incredible pants. This is <laughs> the most right. incredible pants. These really are incredible pants. You know? I probably could be doing like something really, really clever playing around with these, um, these things. Mm-hmm. I think that's exactly what you should be doing. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can do that. Can we undo that one? Yeah. Aha! See, it's off and he won't be able to turn it back on. He's like, ah, I'm in the dark. 
<laughs> it's actually really satisfying to mess with somebody that way. Right? Watch out. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I was onto something. I, I was having ideas. Okay, this is more a matter of timing here. Yeah, exactly. Well, remember, there are, there are other things that you can do. I know, I, I am, I, sh I should be more clever. I'm a spy, I'm mm -hmm. not, I'm not, you know, Bruce Willis. Well, I mean, more like a character he would play. I would play a diehard game that looked like this. You would? Sure. I, I just felt So, like I mean, you could just take that guy out right now if you want. Let's do that. After that last experience, I just need to do some punching. Mm. There we go. That's enough punch for now. You, know, you don't want to. You don't want to spoil your dinner. <sighs> the foley, with all that punch. The sound effect on that punch is just. Yep. I love it. And you know, it's probably something as simple as. I say I have no idea what that sound would be. Maybe oh, that's actually that's actually Tom Francis beating a child. Oh. oh yeah, God. that's why it sounds so good. Because he actually decided to go. All right, real so with did it. I get all the data, or is there more data? Uh, there is a terminal on the second floor there. Got it. All right, so he's all confused and it's dark, but that's yeah. kind of put him in sort of an anxious state. Yeah. I would and say. And that door is going to take you right down to him. So let's take a look. Do we need to make him chill? Let's tie that door to that light switch. I don't know that he's going to touch that light switch You're right, again because, he because he's already all, touched it. Yeah. So you could turn the lights back on for him and put him back into default resting state. Oh, I guess that's a very nice thing to do. Because you've got a switch on that floor, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I could. Do I have a switch on this? I do. It's all the way over there. Well, that said, the light switch will activate yeah. nothing. I mean, you could, you could actually hook that light to that elevator switch plate too. Call for the oh, elevator, the, the, instead the, the, the light will turn on. Because everything is like everything I love is how you together. act like you don't really know what the right thing to do is. It's like don't make Grandpa feel too, you know, forgetful. Well, but no, but the, here's the thing: the way I played through this level was 100% different. Really? Yeah. And by different, you mean correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But your roundabout way is cool too. <laughs> oh wait, now it's just not doing anything. Yeah, it really has. It's going the wrong way. The switch is going the wrong way. All right, let's take a look at it again. So this switch. Yeah. So uh, right gotta, now the switch is go going that down. way. Yeah. Now we, we actually now have two currents. Yeah. Now it's going the right way. There we go. Now you delete the right. You delete the right one. I did delete it. Yeah, it's going yes. from the switch to there. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, just go down there and bullfrog him while his back is turned. Yeah, I grew up in the south, and that's the way we always did things. All right. <laughs> Ow! Don't get go out. up. Because <laughs> this is oh, his lights are on, but he's still really sketched out. He's a little sketched out. All right, so we're gonna have to just. He knows something's up. I would ceiling and then pounce. Or that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, we should ceiling and then pounce. What are you drinking? I'm drinking water. Sorry. It's yeah. Completely... Oh, I, I walked oh! right into it. I walked right into it. Look, you go for the water and you leave me alone for a moment. Look what I do. I get shot in the face. When there was one set of bullet oh, cases, I, I, Adam, I, I, that was when I was carrying you. <laughs> <laughs> So that's funny. So this is not true so much to the hey, switch. Hey, Tom Francis, designer, creator of Gunpoint, is in the chat. He's watching you right now. He is. Now yeah. I feel awful. Hi, Tom. Adam feels really good about this. No, I'm really enjoying this game. Let me. This is Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I, I died in mid trouser. So. This I'm is gonna, interesting. I'm just gonna. You yeah, don't mind. Go, go ahead and show me how things are supposed to be done. Oh man. So it's just, now that we've kind of put ourselves into the point where we're definitely gonna pounce from the elevator, it's just about timing. So if I start now. Timing is something that, yeah, maybe you have it. Get out. See, you can't jump from inside the elevator. Oh, you oh, got to the ceiling. So you get onto the ceiling. 
Yeah. Yeah. We could also return. We, we could go back further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give that a shot and see where that puts us. Oh, or just pounce now, did. pounce now. No, onto him. Get him. Ow! It's just, it, it, it takes me long to get do up. things. I can't do things that Get him. <laughs> <laughs> go right. to three, go to three. Go to three. All right, here we go. So the lights are on, he's still panicky. And, and, and just, you know, let's take one more look. Is there anything else that we can manipulate here that can change his behavior? You could rub his tummy. God, I wish I was. <laughs> Cause you know, if, you know if, you, if I get really angry, that's a pretty good strategy. So just get just get right out of the elevator, instead of going for the ceiling, get him, just, get, get. Well see, but you can't pounce, pounce from inside the elevator, so that's what makes it a yeah, little Yeah, yeah, so the second side. you get down, just tap D and pounce. Oh, D? Just a pounce on D? No, oh, no, no, pounce, just yeah, got get it. right out of the elevator. All right, audience I'm, is probably, Tom Francis is you. probably taking a knife to his eyes while I get ready to do this. Get him! Oh, <laughs> I gave you that! Okay, you uh, take a shot right, at this. Right, right, right. You take a shot at this. So, oh. let's see. This is like highly indicative of what happens to me when I play uh, cer certain games. I know exactly what to do, but I have to have perfect timing and I will psych myself out. Let me see if I can do this. You just electrocuted him. Yeah, man. That was really cool. Are you just like waiting for me to just get, get, get to my lowest point? Uh, actually, uh, Max Zamora in the chat reminded me that you can use the, lock, the light socket to electrocute. Oh, that's really cool. See, Thanks, that's, Max. You know, you know, like, and let's be honest, we're playing this game under circumstances that normal people do not, mm -hmm. with some sense of time pressure and it's on camera. But I, I love this aspect yeah. of it where you know, you just get to experiment. Yeah, exactly. You know, play around, see if this is possible. And that's the thing, is you can run through this whole thing. So there's a terminal uh, on the bottom floor still. Oh, there's more? They have too many secrets in this place. He's gonna turn around, yeah. Let's go back up. Yeah, let's go back up. Yeah, I got it. So, you know, we have a switch on that floor. Yeah. We can turn off the lights and make him walk to that other switch. Let's get that. And that'll shot. be our chance to pounce. Actually, let's, let's just undo this one. So, let's have a much cleaner. You're thinking like an electrical engineer now. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to go down. Oh, no. Don't, 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 don't. You time don't. waster. You waster of time. I'm thoughtful. <laughs> I'm thoughtful. <laughs> oh, my mom calls me thoughtful. And ponderous. Tom says he loves this, but he's also like curling up into a ball. <laughs> get him! Don't get into that Ow. camera! Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Also, uh, Tom. Tom says pressing Z will undo your last connection. Oh! Thank you, Tom. All right, let's let's get in. Let's go down. Let's just shoot this. I'm just going. I'm gonna jump on him and just do some pouncing. Not while he's facing you. Oh, he'll, he's even, got a shoot even, gun even with bullets in it. Well, if he didn't see me over there. He's got a bullet a, filled I a, gun. I have a complex logic that I like to employ. <laughs> okay, just in case uh, uh, there's none of those switches down there that we could use. No, no, no. So, that was very satisfying, which, which you pulled off there. So, uh, if you can get onto the ceiling and pounce down, we definitely have space this time. Okay, I'm gonna Lionel Richie him. So, and then the other thing is, uh, you know, remember, you don't have to step out of the elevator. Now, don't get into the view of the camera. Right, right, because cameras are bad. Kick, uh, uh. No, run, Just that way. <laughs> I'm gonna hack, I'm hacking. Hack him. I'm hacking. He hacked it. Just like that. All right, get out of there, man. At least I'm good at the hacking part of this. Nothing but yeah. a clean mission. <laughs> yeah, you said it. All right. Oh, I guess we have to kind of go up and out. Yeah, you yeah. could also maybe wire that switch plate to that hand scanner. You're right. But I like jumping through plate glass. I, I, I gotta say, what was, was, it, was that the Minority Report game from years back? Oh like yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was. That it, was the one moment in that game that yeah, I enjoyed. It's like, <laughs> oh, so we kind of took out two different sets of windows. Yeah, so there's, yeah, there's a window on the right there that'll take us directly to the exit. Boom! So we're gonna do into the uh, metro. The metro. So yeah. that was 
So that's good. Yeah. Let's do, uh, you wanna do one more? Sure. You wanna do one more and then we're gonna, um, we're gonna swap to Outlast. So, uh, instead of hearing Adam scream like a girl, you're gonna hear me scream like, scream like a girl. I actually scream like a girl too. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm one of those kind of tense sleepers that, uh, you know, I, I, I can get scared very easily if you walk into a room oh, really? on there just by standing there. And so back when I lived uh, in San Francisco the first time, it used to be a joke with my roommates when I'd fall asleep, they'd bring people over and they'd show them what just happened. Stand this right. blood curdling scream of like a seven year old girl would come out of my mouth and I'd be so half asleep that they would, you know, say, Adam, it's me, it's me. I'd be like, oh, okay. And then I'd forget that, see them there, so I'd scream. Just like, ah, just again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so jump into the shop because we're gonna need the wire jack oh, for this yeah. next one. All right. And then we're gonna get to the mission. To accept. So, um, all right, let's do this. So the uh, the wire jack is a very fancy uh, word for saying there are two kinds of circuits now: red and green. Colors. Yeah. Yeah, and Adam is red green colorblind. Guess what? There's colorblind mode in this game. Oh, there is? Yeah, that's that. good. I mean, um, I was gonna ask that, but I was like, yeah. So, let's see. Now, when I did um, that, though, I didn't, I'm not seeing the red and the green. Right, so right now, there's just, I think in this building right now, there's just a green. Okay. For where we are. Um, ah, okay. Interesting, so, interesting thing, if, in case anybody's thinking about this or wondering, you know, as they're looking at all these possibilities, what could I do with something like this? Uh, there is a level editor in the game. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so, what am I doing with the wire jack? How does it work? So the wire jack works the same way as the cross link, right? So, Got there it. you go. So you can see down there. Right. That's all the stuff that's gonna be available to you once you can get to that. Oh, it's not like from any location. Like yeah, any... yeah, yeah. Got it. So, gotcha. um, there is one person in the building. Mm-hmm. Reading. Yep. So it's a matter of getting that person to let us in. Doorbell ditch? Yeah, I think we should, yeah, just ring and run. Use your bull, use your bullfrog trousers. Yeah. Uh, but it would have to be something from the outside. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Got it. So. There we go. I bet it's that camera, because that's the only interesting thing that's mm -hmm. on the outside. It's gotta be the camera. All right, let's bullfrog jump. Bullfrog jump. Ah! If I could pick, I think, anything in a game to have in real life, it would be bullfrog trousers. Yeah. So, oh, there's the door. Yeah, so. Okay. Boom. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So now we need to get, well, do we need to get her to let me in? No, we no, wouldn't no, just no, go no. downstairs. So, we did that. so now we gotta get to the green circuit. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So now we have that. Yeah. So hit W to wire jack it. Wire jack. And now we are linked in. How'd you say that was already so much better than free jack? <laughs> free jack? Yeah. I think was probably Mick Jagger's tour de force. Oh, no, no. It's, it's the one where he was making out with Richards' wife in that trippy movie. Oh, oh God, what was they, that they all one? live in the house together. But that one doesn't have Emilio Estevez in time travel death racing. True, very true. All right, so now that we have... Somebody in the chat wants to know if Gunpoint is worth the $10. I don't know, Tom, you're in the chat. Is your game worth $10? Oh, I think this is definitely. This is so no, good. This is really clever level design. Yes, for sure. And also, I understand people have to pay for games, but still, is it, is it worth $5 or $7? It's a good game! Yeah. There's some things to experiment with. You can feel smarter about yourself. And I understand, you know, there's, it's, a, it's a question of limited resources. You can only buy so many I games. Know. But this is a super clever it's game. Like, it's, 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 just, it's, it's like, you know, back at PAX when the kid asked me if I actually play games, which, of course, I'm not making the best case for right here in front of mm. America. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so now we have the green lines. Does this mean... So now that I've, I've, I've wire jacked, does this just behave like my other stuff? Yeah, now you, you've got it now. You can, okay. you can wire all the green stuff together. So we gotta figure out how to get her away from. Is that a door? Let's go out. Oh, it doesn't wanna go out. It's not a functioning door. Yeah, okay. Tom, Tom, if you're hanging out in there, I would love to know, you know, 
and I'm sure you've already made a statement on this, but um, iOS touch devices, is that a thing? This feels like it would be real nice. I've been told that touch is becoming a thing. Uh, it is yeah. one. It is recognized now officially as the fifth sense. Oh, it is. Yeah. Touch. Okay, good. All right, so we've upgraded now to, we to five. Need, let's see if this works. Why not? No. Well, which way is it going? Well, I'm gonna have to go into the elevator. Well, which to make way it is work. the circuit going though? Got it. Yeah. See, see, I'm always learning. I'm always learning. Let's go from there to there. Yeah. And who knows? We might be playing with gas. No, nope. we're not really playing right. with gas. All right, let's. Well. Can Dude Bro open it? Dude Bro. Dude Bro up there. Oh, you think it's a dude? I thought it was or a, a lady. I think it's Is a dude lady. Dude Bro or Lady Bro up there? Can, I think can so. they do it? Well, but we, okay, the only thing that they can touch is. Uh, Tom says no plans for mobile. He thinks it would be too fiddly. I, I, yeah, I have to agree with him on that. Yeah, I, I think it would be a little on the fiddly side. I can't imagine playing it on a phone for sure, but I think on a I think on I'm, a tablet. I'm, I'm gonna try something a little bit silly here, but just see if this works. Do it. Let's go. Out. Get silly. Because hold on, Dubro does Dubro have a gun? Who knows? Okay, I gotta find out. Uh, he says it's a dude. Oh, it is. Yeah. I'm very. Confused. To be fair, when everybody is in this sort of out of this world, another world style. Yeah. So I'm eavesdropping. Got, yep. Just so you know. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's an adult game. Tom Francis dropped an F bomb. Tom. All right. So I think the conversation is done, but the door isn't. <laughs> So we're gonna need to figure out. So that, and also by going in the elevator, that didn't activate that door. Mm -hmm. I wonder if yeah, that, that, I'm just um, tinkering here. Steam Workshop support is coming, says Tom, for sharing stages made in the level oh, editor. Cool. Wire everything to everything, Adam. Yeah. I if think you we're wire just... everything to everything. Now I'm gonna go from here to here. Yeah. I have no. Just, yeah, four connections between all the devices. Okay, let's just see. <laughs> so, oh, well, something I did happened something. there. I, but think, you, I think I closed the door, actually. A, I think you had a redundant connection there, yeah. But that's okay. I'll redundant your connection. Okay, so I've actually made progress. Can we all point this out that I came up with something and did you it? You are doing a wonderful, listen, man. When I played this for the first time on my own, there was no one was watching me. I messed around forever, <laughs> forever. Oh, that says that's a motion detector. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Wi yeah. Wire it to, but the uh, other I way. I want to go that way. I want to go this way. Yeah. So now it's open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is me as far. a child with the refrigerated doors che checking the light out. Like, his eyes are off. <laughs> unwire it, unwire it. All right, there we go. And now. <laughs> yeah, now just run through. Yay! <laughs> oh, that was like a team effort, <laughs> except I wasn't part of the team. Oh, that's an optional objective. Uh, well, I mean, Tom says he was inspired by, uh, by Deus Ex, hacking turrets. He, want, he wanted to make a game where it was all about subverting the environment. Um, do, do you mind asking Tom if he had actually considered having a hacking minigame? And that, you know, as he may not know, because that was earlier on in this, you know, we, we are more than happy to not see one. Yeah. I like that you could just run up to a laptop. I like that it's just getting right, to the let's laptop. Get this motion detector. Now, since I think I start to see some ideas of what's I going think you on. Just, yeah, you can just get out of there, just... man. High oh, tail. No, that doesn't seem to want to connect. Okay, but the secret's you've, not in there. Yeah, you've, you're done. Oh, you've I'm listened done. in, you've gotten the laptop. See, I'm an overachiever. I thought there must be more, and I want yeah. to see what the dude is all about. But he's not about much. He's about, yeah, he's about putting his head in his hands, and yeah, he's his just life's over. They bugged days. him. He didn't know. Yeah. Sorry, dude. All right, let's walk right out. You know, oh, that's, well, we can go up and over. 
<laughs> I, I mean, look, this does not get everybody. Boring. Everybody has their own strategy. Whoa, yes. Boom. See, oh man, that that's just. You, uh, all right. Tom says he never, never thought about putting a hacking mini game in this. Yeah. Uh, I gotta, I gotta wonder, Tom. You know uh, what? You, it just occurred to me. We we only know about hacking mini games. Mm -hmm. Could there be hacking games or maxi games? Yeah, yeah. There are there are hacking games. Uh, what was it? The eight six eight hack that just came out for iOS. That's a game entirely about hacking. There were some classic games about hacking too. Yeah, I guess Minesweeper on one level was kind of. You yeah. can Probably see it as a hacking mini game. All right. I think. Are, are we moving on to uh, uh, Screamy? Screamy? We're gonna go to a Screamy game. We're gonna go to Outlast. I'm, dude, Tom Francis. Thanks for coming by and watching. Yeah. Thank us you very much. And, and, and congratulations on the game. I'm actually gonna go get this. I, I gotta get ask before before we swap before we uh, swap games here, Tom. When you started making this game, were there? Uh, did a lot of people make a connection between you and this game and kind of the style of it and uh, when Yahtzee made that game Trilby? Do you remember when Ben Croshaw made his game and it was a 2D stealth game about yes. a dude in a hat as well? Yes. Um, were you at all inspired by that? Do you, get, do you hear about that a lot? And we will try, try to jump answer. over right. into the new game as we're doing this. All right. So Outlast, all the horrors. Uh, don't do anything now, that's fine. Just everything's cool. There's nothing I like to see more in a game than conflict. Hey, your game is conflicting. Conflict is drama. Save game conflict, doubly so. All right. <sighs> so, this is Outlast. Tom says that people do make the Trilby comparison a lot, but uh, doesn't look like it was inspired at all. Uh, oh, he said he had played it and it was awesome. I think it's interesting. I always like seeing, like I said, when, when game critics, game writers, somebody from one part of the industry gets into the hands-on development yeah. side and just kind of what they do with it. Greg Kazaman. Yes. I mean, there's an excellent Absolutely. example. With Bastion and, and Transistor coming. Of course, if I was ever to try to make that change, you'd be like, mm -hmm. hey, do you want to play my game? <laughs> Poo spread? Well, <laughs> and then would be like, wow, God, that's not, that's not good. But you know, I will say this. Whereas all the games, when you think about, when you think about like Borderlands 2, when you think about Transistor, when you think about like heavy story elements, but I think, you know, Transistor and this game, or, and uh, uh, Gunpoint. Okay. Very mechanics based in comparison yes. to a lot of games we see from writers who cross over. Yeah, yes, and yes. It's very, very system oriented, very gunpoint, so clever. Level design. So, this is a horror screamy game, this one, Outlast, it's by Red Barrels. Uh, how do you do with horror screamy games? I play them. Actually, you know, Resident Evil 4 caused me untold back pain, and I got rid of my 5.1 uh, <laughs> system. Uh, because I jumped so badly, I was in traction. So, um, but I really enjoy them. I love horror movies. I love, you know, it's, it's, it's a genre that I adore. I sometimes think it's overused or used incorrectly in a lot of games. Yes. Yeah, everyone thinks they can have the one perfect moment from the thing. And you no, know, that, 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 that works in movies. Yeah. That was in games. I, um, I remember throwing my headphones off during one of the Fatal Frame games. Mm -hmm. I think it might have been Fatal Frame 2. Um, oh, yeah. But it takes, a, yeah. it takes a lot to spook me out. But I will say Fatal Frame, the thing that spooks me out is the idea of the thing is invisible. But, it's all around you. You can see it in spurts. The game, when I think about being spooked out now, yeah. gone home. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But that sets, that sets a tone. Yeah. Whereas there isn't the immediacy of something like a Fatal Frame or like this game where it's like, right. you can only see it in spurts, but you know it's there. Yeah, yeah. You know it's just it's, about to you know, get you. Actually, a, a game, it was not a good game, but it had moments that were quite effective, was the, um, I think it was Ritual did the Blair Witch games. Yeah. And because of what they do with their art style and this kind of odd little depth of field, you could see things moving in the back, in the background, that would really, really rattle me. But I'm not saying once you go out and re-experience it. All right. All right. Here are some notes. Psychiatric. Uh, yep. Great. Something is untoward here. Now, see, I have heard wonderful things about this. I have oh, seen. Oh, you haven't played it yet. I have seen just cl just tiny clips. So we are experiencing this for the first time together. But I didn't want to see anything. 
<laughs> That's us, Miles Upshur, independent Press. journalist. Yes, journalist, self-declared journalist. Yeah. He, he, has one of those, he has one of those little hats with the card yes. in it that says press. I have and a that's blog. You know. I have a blog. <laughs> Everybody stand back. I have a blog. Uh, objectives are in your reporter's notebook. Great. Love it. Okay, notes, documents. Hey, everybody. I don't like the way that the walking in this feels. It's a little stiff. That's fine. But you do actually move. Wait, did you say this actually works on Oculus Rift? I didn't, but I, oh. shoosh. That sounds good, though. Well, what's interesting is that you're getting, I, I don't know what the right term is, but like the sway that a normal person would. And that's gonna be one of those important things with Oculus Rift with first person games. Just to, to kind of keep your water table from kind yeah. of reading what's going on because you know, how you're used to walking. We have my Murkoff here, okay. Cell phone cut off, great. So, we've got nothing, we're cut off from everyone, and we are heading into the creepy asylum. Okay, I want to see, it doesn't have to be game, movie, anything. I want to see one that's in a really dull looking asylum. There's someone in the window. See that? What? Someone's in the window. The lights, on, the lights off, the lights off. Lights Can off. I zoom? Yeah, right there. I don't know. Do you want to? <sighs> Maybe not. <laughs> I can't find it. I'm sure it's there. Okay, see now that window, that, that, that light's on. I'm keeping my eyes up for movement. All right. Why is there a military truck here? So guys, I'm not gonna pay attention to the chat because I don't, okay, want, anybody, I don't want anybody to ruin any spook moments because then you don't get to hear me scream like a baby. All right. Oh, uh, people are asking for us to turn down the lights. You know, guys, you won't be able to see us at all. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I'm going to let this. Yeah, that's not going to work. I think, like, kind of like a gunpoint, there are circuits that are attached to yes. one another. And that could cause untold mayhem. All right. Mount Massive. Should I buzz? Nope. Well, here we go. Oh, Tom Francis is leaving. He wants to experience Outcasts on his own. Locked. All right. Oh. Okay, so wait, why are we dealing with military vehicles at these homes? Something untoward is going on. Oh, Experiments yeah. or something. I bet there's some tomfoolery for the ages. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, there's pretty interesting sounds. Yeah. Like the crouching makes it sound like he's made of old polystyrene. And I'm sure it's not coming through on the stream. But there is, I like the film grain effect on yeah. this. Makes me happy. When someone does a good film grain effect, and it makes sense. Okay. All right. I'm getting the sense that the normal way of entry is just not going <laughs> to fly here. Yeah, that's our door. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we can, can zoom, zoom in. Zoom in and out. Okay. Do you want to see what's up there before you go up there? It's kind of a look before you leap, but really more a look before you get yourself into more trouble. All right. <laughs> You're climbing up the ladder. Everything's yes, cool. Yes, uh, to, sorry, I can't read your name there, but Relax Relapse, this is the first time that either of us have experienced Outlast. In fact, I think you've seen a little more than me, but. It's basically a trailer. Because uh, when, when I was at E3, uh, I got to see a trailer for it, but I didn't get to actually go and check it out. When I was at three, E3, I sat in a 5x5 five five space and talked until my voice ran out. There we go. You know, we might need to do like an experiment video to just figure out how safe scaffolding is in real life. Oh! And so it begins. Oh, man. Oh, man. Night vision uses battery life. Manage it well. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm already feeling it. Yeah, these, these sound of, the fact that you just feel that every movement you make is making some noise. Things are just too creaky. It's too creaky, man. And that if there's something that somehow doesn't know you're there, it's going to find out. Ugh. And he's clumsy too. 
And I wonder how like much this guy is clumsy, like a real dude. Have like reactions to this kind of like the way that I would like try to sneak in back into my parents' house when I'd stayed out later than I was supposed to. I saw. I, th I thought I saw. Oh a dude. yeah. No, no, no. There was. I, uh, no, maybe not. That's no, no, no. A bar. That's just a bar. That's but a it looks pole. like a dude. That's a. It's a, it's a scary it's a, pole. It's a dude, bro. <laughs> it's a dude pole. All right. Is there something in here that I need? No, there's Fireplace? just another door. <sighs> what? What? That's not oh. cool. That's that was the TV. That's not cool, you dumbs. That was the bunch of dumbs. I don't even want to get out of your TV room. I'm closing the door. I hate you. Cheap scare moment. So what do you think with the circumstances that left it such a mess? Whoa, blood. Oof. Yeah, um, that's the well, we'll just go in here real quick. We'll just go not towards the blood real fast. Hey, Windows can eight? I can I hack? Is there a hacking mini game? Oh, there's a battery. Great. We need those for our camcorder. What's gonna happen when we finally figure out the infinite battery? Like an entire point of tension in most games is gonna be absolutely. Think about think about the movie Die Hard without cell phones. Think about right? all the like, president's about, men with cell phones. Give everybody, give somebody on the floor in, in Nakatomi Towers a cell phone. Yeah. And John McClane has a wonderful Christmas and his marriage is okay. Mm hmm Oh my God. All right, files. All right. Billy. Progress to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. I don't like the sound of morphogenic engine. It looks spirometry. No bronchial accumulation. I don't know what oh, spirometry is. Spirometer is, is like how they uh, measure breathing in people oh, really? with like cystic fibrosis and stuff. Oh, got it, got Hemocrit it. centrifuge, MRI, arrhythmic REM cycle. Oh, people aren't sleeping well and they're laughing in their sleep and they're having creepy dreams. Great, this is where I want to be. They're laughing in their sleep? They're laughing and screaming in their sleep. Is that, is the blinking on the computer? No, that's not. All right. That so light's gonna go out. Oh, I hate you. All right. It's a kiwi oh, bird. footprints. Oh, man. No footprints. Just switch it off to other sh Oh, God. And he's in the toilet, too. He's in the, yeah, there are stalls, and it's gonna echo. I heard breathing. I'm just gonna go in here real quick. Like, maybe. I know we have to go in there, but maybe I'm gonna make a snack in the microwave oh, see, first. Now it's like the guy who's putting his entire left arm on the piano sounds. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I actually, I did get a couple goosebumps. Found a battery. I think it's saying something, if we're in a completely lit room here together and I get like the, you know, the willies. I told you whoa, we were Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, do we want to get up in that vent or do we want to go in the creepy bathroom? I don't like either decision I've well, been given. Well, he's a reporter, report. Blog something. Uh, I wish he was a video game journalist yeah, so he didn't have to be a real journalist. Give an impressions piece <laughs> of the asylum. <sighs> oh. Yeah, you could just say, I went hands on with the creepy asylum. I didn't get to finish it. Yeah. Here's what I thought. Uh, dicks. All right. Uh. A lot of this seems to be building up to the signature moment of the descent. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so there are people there. I mean, kind of. He was. That was kind of Hills Have Eyesy. Okay, so. No. Nope. Oh, now there's another dude. I saw, I saw, nope. I, I saw the move. Blood. No. Nope. Blood and movement. Ah. Ugh. Why didn't he bring his soft shoes today? Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> that no! actually got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So wait, wait, is that, I can't tell if that's a uniform or that's just the blood on. Uh, do we search what? that? Do we search I, I, that I, body? I, I, we'll put the damn thing back up so you can see things. Oh, you're a dick. Wait, wait I'm gonna fumble around in the dark? Oh, he has no head, he has no head. Oh. Is that a collectible? Yeah, his head's a collectible. <laughs> But somebody else got it first. Is it in the cloud? 
<laughs> he got a trading card. <laughs> oh, oh God. Protect, protect the, protect the what? Protect. Uh, protect the, I don't actually want to go in the room. Is that the character breathing like that? Yes. Yeah. Miles oh, Upshur, heavy breather. You know what would be really cool? If there was a, something that was, I thought I saw something moving behind us and it spooked me. Um, that if there was like a thing where you could get a paper bag, it's like you had to kind of not hyperventilate. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, I was really hoping that we weren't supposed to walk through this whole library in night vision. <laughs> oh man, no. Uh, ah. Just. <laughs> ah! Don't do no, that! I, th I think he wants help. They killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Oh, uh, it's not good when a cog tells you that after being impaled. Did he say we have to unlock the front door? Or we can't, or we shouldn't unlock the front door. Get the fuck out of this terrible place. Oh, oh well, man. there's the heads. There's somebody's, like, hey. Ah, oh, no head collection is a good head collection. Okay. Oh, 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 oh movement, oh. movement, movement. No, no, no. Man, they're doing something in that room. No. Jeez, God. Why is every reporter in every form of media just have lowest lane disease, where you just run towards the trouble? You can only run towards the trouble. That's dumb. Uh, okay. Yeah, like the crouching when you discover the evil. It's like, oh, well, the evil can't find me now. I'm two feet short. I'm behind this Ikea Billy yeah. bookcase. He'll never see me now. Well, what are those pictures? Uh, just probably some dudes who are either possessed or dead. That's not a cool guy. That's not a cool chaplain. Yeah. That's not the chaplain you want. But uh. it's the chaplain we deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, the guy who's stealing the heads keeps locking us out, and I feel like we should take that as a sign. I feel like we should just get out of here and let him take his heads. Little fake. Ah! Ah! What was that? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! What did he say? You're big? Well, thank you. It's not the first time I've heard him, but. Or is it your fig? Like, hey, you're Maybe it was fig. Your, you left his... this over there. Who are you? Is that the creepy father? Yeah, I think it is. I don't even want to be here. I don't want to be here. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Oh Guard no, your life, son. You have a calling. Oh no. Too, so he's crazy, and he's your only hope. Too many conflicting crazies. That's not a place you want to be. So uh, we have a commenter, name of Demi. At this point, is there any journalist who wouldn't just turn tail and run? No! I would turn tail and run. Proclaim the gospel, not protect. Proclaim the gospel. Gospel! Gospel! Can we go now? Gospel! Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Okay, Marco! So... Gospel. Did he give us any guidance? Uh, well, the Lord is our guidance now. Yeah, there's too much asylum. There's too much asylum. And it's all bring, full of it, bad. Is this bringing back a memory? Uh, oh, man. It's just there are all these, all these different ways to go. Well, I don't know. That body really ties the room together, I it think. It does. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, the herringbone pattern. It's nice. I like that they left the original wood inlay. You know what I mean? Yeah. The parquet. That's nice. That's good asylum. Uh, can I have that? No? All right. That's his radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not cool. It's not cool to take that guy's radio after he's dead, man. Uh, all right, so that was a battery. We didn't die there. We are going to die. Though. But how are you not already dead? This would be like six cents Oof. or something. Oh, man. It's a big room. OK. Apparently, uh, another uh, person, Harris Heruasa. Anyway, this gentleman says, I'll tell you guys, it gets way more creepier than you imagine. Oh, no, man. 
Get out of here. No. <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, are there clowns? Don't tell me if they're clowns. God, I hope there aren't clowns. Oh, uh, there's you probably a clown. See that thing about the clown in that northern England town? Yes. That is really creepy. I don't like it when things like that turn real. Yeah. You got a document. Learning. Just learning. All right, let's just learn about more terrible things that are going to happen to us. Uh, morphogenic engine activity pro uh, plateaued. Unable to progress. Spirometry, light to medium bronchial accumulation. Uh, interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Extensive dermal eruptions. Extensive dermal eruptions? That's just, that's just being a teenager, man. An uh, eruption? I would, I would say what happened to my face between the age of 13 and 19 yeah. was extensively dermally Eruptive. eruptive. Yeah. Tutara lizards? The skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Cool. Like third eye stuff. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, see yeah, what yeah, that's yeah, going yeah. third eye. Two and one more. Yeah. Three. It puts you one eye above everybody else. Uh, he has anxiety about his flesh. Well, you know, everybody's got self-esteem issues. The mental traumas he sustained in, in Afghanistan, uh, are we, don't get political. His predominant fixation is manic exaggeration of military security protocol. Okay, so this is something I did not expect. Okay, so this creepy looking asylum is actually a contemporary asylum that only recently wasn't being used. Yeah, and it looks so I'm like- I'm assuming this is not England in the 18th century. Oh, we got a peak, okay. No, this is a, this is a newer asylum and it looks like uh, military asylum. Well, it was pretty. Oh, no. Moving? Is it moving? Is oh, that yeah, he's moving. Oh, you. Uh, I just, uh, that's not going to open for me, and I know it's not, but. <sighs> okay. All right, then. Fine. Well, maybe you pull up the camera and zoom? What are you doing, dude? What are you. Uh, what is your life about? Ah, uh, his head's lolling back and forth. Yeah. Man. That would probably be Adrian Lin's great gift to culture. Can I throw this toilet paper at him just to see? No, we're gonna have to take a look. I don't wanna. Let's go up and take a look. Hey. Oh, man, whoa. Hey, guy. Ah. Just uh, here to report. I can dance. Hey, pal. Do you wanna tell me what happened to your nose there? Voldemort? No? All right, moving on. Whoa. Oh, they're just watching TV. He's just in there with a dead guy watching TV. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. The other guy is dead. Uh, but, you know, this is like, we were talking about this the other day. The only, that scene from American Werewolf in London that creeps me out where he has the dream and he's watching yep. TV with his dead friend and that just... Oh, that stuck with is me. Is that a dream sequence, or is that, are they, is that when he just comes to visit him and he's kind of imagining things? I think that's, Whoa, he's imagining. Yeah, look, there's, I know that program. Hey, guy, we're all pals, huh? Oh, wow. So. Well, hold on, that outfit? What, who is he, Ozymandias? What is, what is this happening here? Hey, man. Good call back to Breaking Bad. All right, cool. Cool room. I don't like this wailing. I don't like this wailing. No, no. Uh, who did the sound? Whoever did the sound for this is good at his job and also the person I hate the most in my life forever. I mean, it's kind of a core. No, it's not. <laughs> Zoom. All right, that guy's ah, dead. dead. That guy's dead. dead. We're cool, we're cool. All right. At least we're inured to the dead bodies that aren't moving. Uh, hey, I'm just looking to get out. So. Okay. Okay, you've got a key card. You've got a key card. I like you. You're my new best friend, dead guy. The key card also might be one of the most important things that have ever been created for video games. Oh, for sure. I mean, where would games be without a key card? Remember before before people figured out they could use key cards, it was just keys, and they were multicolored for I mean, no reason. That was oh, <laughs> it was so primal and primitive. Uh, do we have okay. to, we got to backtrack? We got to go back to the main hall. 
So is this the point where we would declare them because you're backtracking? It's like Metroid. This is a Metroidvania, basically. Yeah, this is, this basically, is Metroidvania. Okay. It's basically Metroid Prime Three. Yeah. They completely stole all. Of this. I'm gonna close this because I don't like knowing you guys exist. Cool. <laughs> Twiddle it, twiddle it! I'm twiddling! God! Oh. Noseless son of a bitch! Get back in your chair, asshole mother! So... Oh. The timing of that was really good. You... And the lack of clarity as to what was exactly <sighs> happening. Oh, man. Yeah, you just, you explain why it was cool for us to freak out just then, Sessler. Whatever makes you feel justified in the fact yeah, the that we're baby works children. There. The key card works there. Yeah, hey, hey man. let's try the green. Hey, man, a second ago, that guy couldn't get out of his chair. Maybe the door's open now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, what? Well, sure, well, there's blood on the floor. Do we already walk through here? Ah, uh, probs. Ugh. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. Fucking dick asylum for dicks. <laughs> 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 all right. Hey, man, I got a card, but I know it's the wrong one, but all right, cool. I'll just see you later. See you later, Up then. Oh, uh, it's sticky. I can hear that it's sticky. Oh, uh, but sometimes people get up. All right. All right. Okay. We'll grab the document. All we, right, maybe the document gets let's, up. Let's Who make knows? sure we stand there and read it right now. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. The best thing we could do is to read this thing over twice for maximum Let's go find a highlighter. He's probably got a highlighter at his desk. Are there any, yeah. are there any multicolored tabs in here in the desk drawer? Uh, we are satisfied that the affidavit and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require the, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, everything's cool. Just... You, you can't just hang up. So, uh, one, one gentleman thinks that maybe we should um, try to lotion some of these guys. That maybe it's just kind of like eczema or some other type of dry definitely, skin. Definitely, definitely looks like they're dried out for sure. Oh man. Um, okay, but there's a sign, and one of the things is going to say security, security room. Great, just like that. You can look behind you. No way. Look behind you while you're running. Okay. That is not a okay. skill I want to have. And the fact we were just told about it now, there's a oh, hallway. Oh no. Man, this is like when you would pick up like health in Serious Sam. Okay. All right. Ah! Oh! But he's in front of us. Now is he behind us? Dude. Can you look behind yourself? Look, look, look you, behind. Uh, you can only look behind when you're running. Well, run. No. Right. Why? Well, you won't be where you were. Let's run towards the, time. the guy who was just stabbing the wall. Sure. I'm take my time. Hey man, that looks real ergonomic. <laughs> I like that you've adjusted your armrests appropriately for the height of your desk. Here's a battery. So, Ugh. We're, we're also being told that the camera out of night vision does not use battery. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Great, good to know. So you can record to your heart's content. I don't want to record any of this. I think you need it for the memories. <laughs> You know, this is the part of the commercial where the Rockford Files guy would probably tell us that we can really enjoy it while the memory is still fresh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Bathroom's in this joint. <sighs> Put a nice vignette on this later. Yeah. Desaturate the blacks in iMovie. Behind you, behind you. I heard it. I heard it. I can't see it, but I heard it. It said witness, just so you know. It's probably referencing the, you know, Harrison Oh, the Harrison Ford, Ford movie. Ford movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Amish Country. Yeah. Love that movie. Uh, did I ever tell you that I have a horrible fear of mop buckets? I think you might be telling the truth. Uh, I mean, I don't know anyone who has a terrible affinity for mop oh, buckets. Oh, these are, oh, look at the footprints we're leaving. This is terrible. Are you sure they're ours? No, Adam, I'm not. I don't like it. Hey, everybody. Security room, security room. All right. All right. All yeah, right. but where's like the, the wall stabber? All right. He's like further down the hall. 124 is security, 126 is wall stabber. Okay. 
Okay. They lie. Okay, sure they do. Oh, you can hide in here, all clock tower style. Great. That's another skill that, once again, I don't want to have, because I don't want to be in a situation where I need it. But there'll be something sniffing. No, oh, I don't want it. Oh, I don't like but it when things... sniffer. Oh, things sniffer. And they just, they're like all up on it. You just can hear... Oh, uh, like olfactory, oh. getting up in there. Yeah. Miles up, sure. Coffee hacker. the web. There's a hacking minigame in this. That would be so awesome if this game had the hacking minigame. <laughs> There's like... Whoa! No! No! Yes, the, it's... You know, oh, it's okay. Oh. It's our buddy. Nope. I'm so glad we make friends. Restart well, the generator. Well, he turned it off. Hide in the locker. Don't try to fight. That sounds like a great Get idea. In there. Don't try to fight what? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. How does he know to come in the room? Oh, it's that guy who called us a fig. Yeah. Um... I'm sorry, enunciate? Oh, he's about to 